Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very long video but it is so exciting to me. I know some of you guys have been asking for this and I've been planning to do it during Vlogmas so this is the perfect time. I'm going to be sharing my entire perfume collection. So basically kind of my higher end perfumes that you can buy at like Sephora, Ulta. I have a couple luxury ones um, but I won't be sharing like my Bath and Body Works stuff and stuff like that. But I thought it would be a good time to put this up today because Sephora actually is starting a fragrance sale today where it's 20% off all fragrances. So I was like, let me go ahead and upload my perfume collection. If anyone is looking for some ideas, they can kind of refer to this video. I'll have everything linked down below, but we have a lot to go through. So definitely grab a snack, grab a drink. Fragrance is one of my favorite things in life. Of course, I also love makeup, but I've also had such a love for fragrance for many years. I've shared my loves here on my channel. I've done a lot of different perfume collections, but this year in particular, I've really started growing my collection and doing a lot more fragrance-related videos because people seem a lot more interested in it. So I know the Sephora sale, I think, is until the 24th. I'll have ev everything you need to know down below, the code you need to use. I think it's a one time use so if you're watching this during the sale definitely check that out but if you're not hopefully you could still find some really great recommendations because of course there's probably going to be some good deals as well in the future and you can kind of start adding to your fragrance wish list but let's just go ahead and get started so i'll go ahead and start with my carolina herrera scents i have the original Good Girl and also the Good Girl Supreme in the smaller size. How cute are these? I absolutely love that they're in the shape of a little shoe. So fun. The original Good Girl I recently bought. I wasn't sure if I would love this because it is described as like an oriental floral. I don't love florals as much but they are kind of growing on me especially like sweet florals and warm florals and I do think this is gorgeous so this is definitely something I would wear for more of a special occasion or an evening event because it is a very strong scent like this lingers on the skin it is a warm floral like I mentioned it has top notes of almond coffee there's floral notes in the middle notes and then there's like tonka bean cocoa vanilla praline and the base notes so there's a lot going on here it's a very complex fragrance but it is gorgeous if you like sweet kind of more gourmand florals but if you think that would be a little bit too much for you this one's probably my personal favorite from the Carolina Herrera line this is the good girl supreme so this one has the sparkly bottom on it and this one is a little bit more creamier and more sweet it doesn't have as much of the floral as the original and I think you can wear this like year round, daytime or evening. It's beautiful. So I do prefer the Good Girl Supreme. Next we'll do my Juicy Couture fragrances. One of my very first ever perfumes I had was of course Viva La Juicy. But this one is my favorite from the entire Juicy Couture range and it is the Gold Couture. So uh, you'll learn about me. I love a lot of sweet scents like foodie scents, sweet gourmands. That's what I go for. And this is delicious. This is my second bottle of this you can sometimes find this really cheap at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx for the one ounce but I think that the bigger size has the most beautiful bottle so I love having the large size this one I get so much caramel and vanilla in this scent it's actually very similar to the just launched Bath and Body Works um, gingham heart of gold if you guys like that one you probably would like this too I feel like this one's a little bit more sweet the gingham heart of gold has more apple notes well this one has more of the berries mixed in but they are pretty similar. This is just such a gorgeous scent from Juicy Couture. I also just recently got the Viva La Juicy La Bubbly Edition. So this is the packaging. How freaking cute are these bubbles on the bottom? I mostly had to have this for the packaging. The scent is great as well. I got a great deal on this for Black Friday on a Macy's. I always post awesome deals I find on my community tab. But I would say this scent is not super unique at all. It smells pretty much almost identical to the original Viva La Juicy. So it's not super like fun and innovative. It's supposed to have champagne notes in here to make it a little bit different, but I feel like it smells the same. So if you have the original, you probably don't need this, but it is absolutely stunning. I would describe this as a more fruity perfume. 
Um, it's more of a younger kind of audience, but I think it's gorgeous. I would wear this every day. It's perfect for uh, any season, really. You could wear this all year round. Next, I'll do my Killian scents. I have two by Killian. This is becoming one of my favorite perfume brands because they make a lot of just like very seductive and sweet perfumes. And I have the I Don't Need a Prince by my side to be a princess. This is such a stunning fragrance. You get a lot of marshmallow notes in this one, but it's a deep marshmallow smell like very warm very great for winter time but it's so sweet I absolutely love this one it lasts on the skin as well this is beautiful if you like sweet gourmands so that is the princess from Killian also by Killian this one is more luxe <laughs> I don't know why they have such different price points in their range I don't know why there's random beeping outside but we're gonna ignore that anyways I don't know why Killian has such like a big price range some of theirs are a little bit more affordable and then some are super luxurious like this one but I was debating on buying it I had the mini size and I finally picked up the full size during a Sephora VIB sale to save a little bit of money and I'm so happy with it because this scent is just so intoxicating it's one of my absolute favorites in my collection and the packaging is absolutely stunning on this too the best way I can describe this scent is like a candied marshmallow, but it's so long lasting on the skin and you get a little bit of like an orangey zest in here too. It's so unique, so beautiful. Um, I did see that Dossier might have came out with a dupe for this one if you're looking for something similar on a budget, but I haven't tried that one yet. But usually Dossier is pretty spot on with their dupes, but I am happy to have the original. This apparently got very popular on TikTok because a lot of people said this was Rihanna's like signature scent. I don't know if she still wears this because of course she does have her own like Fenty perfume now, but this one is definitely a top, top favorite in my perfume collection. Next brand we're going to do is YSL because I have quite a few from their collection collections. YSL is another one of my favorite perfume brands. I just feel like they make such good scents that everyone pretty much loves. They're just amazing. So obviously the original Black Opium is probably one of their best sellers and um, I have had that in the past and I've tried out some more different flankers of the Black Opium. So I have the Black Opium Extreme here. I just got this again at the VIB sale so I did get to save a little bit of money on it. I just bought the little one. I really wanted to try this because I heard this one has more more like cocoa, chocolate, and more coffee notes than the original does. So I do find this to not be as sweet as the original, but it is a little bit more edible and I feel like a little bit more long lasting since it is the extreme version. So I'm actually really, really liking this one. The very top notes are coffee and cocoa and it also has jasmine, orange blossom, bourbon vanilla, and also patchouli is pretty prominent in the black opium scents. Another version of black opium that I recently got at Black Friday from Macy's. They had a major deal on this. I got this for such a good price. This is the Black Opium Neon version and I find this one to be actually a lot sweeter and more fruity than the original. Like I might actually like this like a lot more. The main difference is the fruity top notes of Pitahaya, which I'm not sure what that is, Mandarin Orange, and Citron. So delicious smelling. I do own one scent from Chanel. I'm not usually a big fan of the Chanel fragrances because they just seem a little bit more floral and more mature than my preferences, but this one is my favorite. This is my second bottle. It's the Chanel Chance O Tender. I feel like pretty much anyone would like this scent. It's such a good one. Just great for every day. It is so fruity and fresh. The main note in here is grapefruit and it's delicious. I absolutely love it. It lasts on the skin as well for a fruitier scent, but I do wear this one more, I would say, in spring, summer, but really, you can wear this all year round. This will always, always be in my perfume collection for life, I think. I have one perfume here from the brand Moschino. This is the Toy 2 Bubblegum Edition. It was so hard for me to track this fragrance down. I heard of it and I was like, wait, there's a bubblegum perfume. I need to try this. I'm all about the sweet scents as you guys know and I found it at my local Dillard's store. Uh, it was on Ulta for a bit but I think it's like out of stock now. It's definitely more popular I think in Europe um, but I had to buy this humongous size. It's all they had. I wish I had a smaller size but it is it is pretty cute not gonna lie but yeah this is the bubblegum edition and it literally smells exactly like Orbit bubblegum in my opinion. 
so so similar it has that bubblegum note in it there is a lot of other notes in this too um it does dry down to more of a like warm powdery almost marshmallowy scent on the dry down but you definitely get that bubblegum scent in the beginning it's like a fruity bubblegum it's so good i don't know how they captured that scent in here but they did such a good job with it next i will do my kaoli fragrances i've been recently getting really into their perfumes i recently got a sampler from them and i bought a couple during their black friday sales because they had 30 percent off and it's a score for kaoli because kaoli is extremely popular right now and their scents are selling out like crazy i've had the vanilla 28 in the past and i don't know what happened to it i know i bought it it like three years ago and I cannot find it anywhere in my collection um, so I had to repurchase it and this is one of the best vanilla it's very similar though to the um, mix bar that you can find at Target the vanilla bourbon it's pretty much spot-on I do find this to be a little bit more long-lasting though but it is such a delicious vanilla it's very warm very sweet kaoli makes their sense to kind of mix and match with each other which i think is fun so you can kind of create your own like unique signature scent i do find a lot of their perfumes though to be very hit or miss with me they do a lot of unique scents um a lot of middle eastern kind of notes in there so a lot of them can be a little powerful for me i actually just picked up their new eden apple one which I have yet to try, but the vanilla is definitely my favorite from their line. And I also picked up the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. I think this is so pretty. I got this in the little sampler kit and I instantly fell in love with this one. It gives me a little bit of flower bomb vibes, if you guys are familiar, like a gourmand floral. It's so pretty. It has almost like floral and candy notes in here. It does have the pink pepper, which is the main thing, but it's not like spicy to me at all. I don't know. I just think it's really pretty. I don't think this would be for everyone though, um, but I think the bottle on this is absolutely beautiful too. So I do have the pink pepper. I have this celebrity fragrance. This is by JLo. It's the Miami Glow. This is such an iconic like early 2000s scent and this one I had to have in my collection again. This is one that my mom used to have for some reason. She must have randomly bought it at Walmart like forever ago. And that's what just kind of reminds me of her. I don't think she even wore it that much. It was like such a random purchase for her. But I love this. It's so unique. There's nothing that smells like this. But it is very beachy. It's The name is perfect. Miami Glow. It reminds me of warmth. Being by the beach. It has top notes of passion fruit, coconut milk, and pink grapefruit. So it's definitely fruity. There's some orange blossom in here. Base notes of vanilla and also amber. Next up, let's do my Giorgio Armani fragrances. I think Giorgio Armani makes some of the best scents, and they also had a Black Friday sale that was too good, so I repurchased this. This is one I've already gone through a whole bottle of, but this is one of the best fresh and aquatic clean scents you will ever find it's so good like nothing can top this as my favorite aquatic scent because it literally smells like the ocean the sandy beaches the clean air it's beautiful so this is aqua de joya from giorgio armani the main note in here is lemon and mint which i totally get the lemon that makes it smell so fresh and clean it has jasmine peony virginia cedar and also a surprising note is brown sugar I wouldn't say if I get that in here, but it's so delicious. Another awesome scent from Giorgio Armani is the My Way. I got this in a Sephora perfume sampler, which I absolutely love those kits. It's the best way to try out new perfumes at a discount. So this one is so fun to me. This one's another one I'd probably wear more spring and summer. I do get a lot of floral in this though, but it's a light floral, also very sweet. and. When you first spray it, I almost get a hint of bubblegum, which makes me happy. So that's the main reason why I bought this. I just was so surprised by that first initial spray. It looks like the main florals in here are tuberose and then Indian jasmine. Next up, I have a more luxury niche perfume. This is stunning. So this one you can't really get at Sephora or Ulta, but you can get it on like Nordstrom, Saks, more of those kind of designer stores. This is by Parfums de Marly and it's the Delina Exclusive. I've always been kind of on the hunt for a more gourmand rose scent. I love rose mixed with like cake and very sweet notes and this is perfection. So there is an original Delina, but I think I prefer the exclusive a bit more because it's just more 
gourmand smelling to me um but this is beautiful it's worth every penny to me very pricey but i absolutely love it i get non-stop compliments on this one and yet you only need a little bit because this is so strong but i guess that's what makes it so expensive is the oils are a lot more concentrated in some of these designer perfumes if you're looking for more of a rose scent mixed with like a cakey kind of candy note you would really love the delina exclusive next i have my replica fragrances so this is my full-size replica and this is coffee break probably my favorite from the line this is described as creamy and cozy coffee and it's just that it really does remind me of like your coffee time table so you'd have like your coffee and your like maybe baked goods out like your cookies and stuff like that and then like creaminess of adding like some milk into your coffee as well it's delicious this one isn't as long lasting as some of their other scents though I think this is only a eau de toilette while some of the other ones are eau de parfum and parfums usually are a little bit more long lasting but I think it's beautiful I pair it with a lot of other sweet scents it layers really well with other fragrances but I'm really happy that I bought this and I've just been loving it so far it's so delicious to me I do have two replica minis as well so I do own the bubble bath this is the one ounce so I guess it's not really a mini it's still a full size um, I bought these in a little duo so bubble bath is described as comforting and clean to cords it definitely is that clean scent it does smell like a soapy bubble bath I think soap is like the main note in here but it's a little bit too like almost powdery florally for me that I'm not sure if it's something I'm going to be keeping in my collection for a long time so we'll see I do prefer I think more aquatic fresh scents rather than this super clean sudsy kind of scent but it is kind of cute I love the name of it I think bubble bath is adorable I also have the by the fireplace this one has been really getting some traction this year this is one of my favorite fall and winter perfumes it's kind of similar if you guys like bonfire bash from bath and body works i think you might like this but it's very woody so it's gonna have a lot of those woody notes to it it really smells like a crackling campfire but it has like those hints of marshmallow in there as well that really sweeten it up it's technically a unisex scent so this might not be for everyone but i think it's delicious and it's so long lasting on the skin it's described as burning wood and chestnut it's delicious i do have one perfume from burberry and it's the burberry her i love the bottle of this now a lot of people say that it reminds them of baccarat rouge a little bit which is one of those luxury perfumes that i feel like so many perfumes try to dupe and i don't know if i would agree with that this one to me it has like that light airy vibe that baccarat and ariana grande's cloud have but this is so sweet it's almost too sweet it's like a very much strawberry kind of sweet scent but a lot of people don't really like this or say that it's too like fake smelling i don't know i think it's okay it's definitely not my favorite of all time it's definitely growing on me but i do think it is a pretty scent nonetheless this one i've been obsessed with lately and this is by ellis brooklyn this is the b perfume this one is very sweet but it smells a lot like honey so it has a very strong super sweet honey note in here but it's so delicious it's not overpowering for me in the slightest i think it's so good it makes me want to try even more from their line i got this um from a sephora fragrance sampler again which i never would have known about it unless i tried that because my stores never had this in stock i had to order it online and i'm so happy with this one they also have a couple other perfumes i want to try like the salt and also the sweet one which sound really good but b is probably going to be my top favorite from ellis brooklyn it is so delicious especially if you guys love honey another really good kind of like bakery type of scent that's super sweet super gourmand is the fresh cream warm cashmere this one literally smells edible but it does have that hint of cashmere that makes it a little bit different very warm so definitely something i would wear for like fall and winter they do have the original fresh cream which is more of like a frosting type of scent but this one has to be my favorite and it's pretty inexpensive as well i love pairing this one with the sol de janeiro charosa 71 it's kind of has similar vibes to that but i absolutely love this one i would definitely recommend checking it out next another sweet scent is the vanilla woods by seven virtues this is such a good one it has um vanilla scent essential oils in the fragrance and it definitely is more of a i guess woody vanilla like it's described but it is delicious 
It also smells a little bit like the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Untamed that everyone's going crazy for right now. But this is a must-have, one of my favorite vanillas in my collection that I've tried. We also have this one from Valentino, and this is the Valentino Donna, born in Roma. This is such a nice everyday scent. It's more on the, I would say, fresh, fruity side of things. The top notes are black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot. It has jasmine in the notes, as well as bourbon vanilla and cashmere. It's really nice, just every day. I feel like most people would really like this one. All right, next we'll do my Ariana Grande scents because I have a few of these and I love, love, love her fragrances. So first up we have the original Ari. This one is so cute. This is my second bottle of it. And you can find this really inexpensive, well, all her perfumes really, at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Ari is a very sweet, almost marshmallowy type of scent. It reminds me a little bit of the Juicy Couture Gold Couture that I mentioned earlier, but so sweet and delicious. We also have her iconic scent, which is Cloud. I feel like this is the one that most people have tried and that most people enjoy. And this is actually the Intense version. So this one came out this year. I did get rid of my Cloud and just replaced it with the Intense because... Obviously, this one lasts a bit longer. I feel like the smell is pretty much the same, though. So, Cloud is kind of like your very airy, sweet, but almost like cold, like smelling perfume. It has a note called Ambroxan that makes it smell like that, like airy texture. I don't know. It's so weird. This one's so sweet, though. The Intense has lavender in the notes, bergamot, whipped cream, praline, and coconut so delicious. It's one of my favorite, favorite perfumes of all time. I also have from Ariana Grande the REM. I also really love this one. I did keep the outer box of this one, but I did not keep the cloud one because I thought that one was kind of ugly, but I do like this crystal one a little bit more. So REM is a little bit similar to cloud in a way, but this one is kind of like cloud, but add a lot of like lavender in it. It's like a lavender sugary type of scent to me. I think it's very pretty. Um, if you guys have tried the new Bath, Bath & Body Works Fireside Flurries, this is pretty much identical to that and they mix so well together. Sorry, I'm always comparing Bath & Body Works because I also review a lot of that on my channel, but this is so good. If you like sweet lavender scents, you will love REM. Moving on, I have one from Dolce & Gabbana and this is the La Imperatis. This is a blind buy that I picked up at TJ Maxx. I was so shocked. Because usually I buy some perfumes from TJ Maxx and it ends up being a fail for me. But this was such a win. It smells so good. This is one of my go-tos for spring and summer. Because this is so fruity. It reminds me of like a banana and strawberry kind of smoothie. It's so good. And something so surprising from Dolce & Gabbana. I do have the Sol de Janeiro perfume as well. This is the Chirosa 62 perfume version. It pretty much smells the same as the Brazilian Crush Mist. It's supposed to be the same scent as the boom boom cream I don't use the perfume as much I always am using the mist though because um, it's cheaper but this is essentially the same thing if you guys haven't smelled it it's like a pistachio and caramel chestnut delicious gourmand scent it's one of my favorites and I love this one especially in summertime this one I'm gonna have to mention even though it's not really a perfume but this is literally one of my favorite scents ever and the fragrance mist this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Tarosa 71 this is like the most edible scent, definitely top five scents of all time, which is saying a lot because I have so many. This is just delicious. I pair this with so many other scents. Like I said, I love this with the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. It's described as caramelized vanilla and macadamia, and it literally smells like a cookie. It is so good, you guys. Must, must try. I am like begging of them to make a body cream in this scent because it's so good. Next up, I have the Marc Jacobs Perfect. I think this one came out this year, or at least it got really popular this year. And I love the lid on this one. It has a little bow and there's a banana on it and there's a little cat on the back. I think it's so cute. This is such a nice everyday scent. Again, it's more fresh and fruity kind of notes. A lot of people would love this one. They also make an intense version, which is a little bit more on the floral side. The main notes in this are rhubarb, narcissus, almond milk, cashmere, and cedar. I know a lot of people have been pairing this one with the Bath & Body Works Almond Blossom. You definitely get more almond milk like on the dry down. It is such a gorgeous fragrance. We have one from Gucci and this is the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. 
I am obsessed with this packaging. I love the hot pink. So Gorgeous Gardenia is a scent they've had before, but they just relaunched it in the Eau de Parfum version. It was only in the Eau de Toilette before, so this is supposed to be more long-lasting. This one I can never put my finger on, but it smells like something I've had in the past. I don't think it's like super unique. It's more like maybe some type of celebrity perfume that I've had before. Maybe a little bit of Viva La Juicy. I don't know. Something seems familiar, but you do get that gardenia note. I do like gardenia for my florals, but it also is very sweet at the same time. The floral is not overpowering at all. On the back here, it says the main notes are white gardenia, Florum, jasmine, and then pear blossom. It's such a good scent. I do have this one from Victor and Rolf. This is my favorite from them, and this is the Bonbon, and this is my second bottle of this, so I definitely go through this really fast. It's so delicious. I think this one's good all year round, but is it is a warm gourmand scent. Lots of caramel notes in here, praline, so sweet and yummy smelling. So definitely a favorite for me. And this is the newer bottle that I picked up from Ulta. Another really nice sweet fruity scent. This one is from Jimmy Choo, and this is the Fever from Jimmy Choo. Reminds me a little bit of like YSL, Black Opium, but a lot fruitier. Kind of like the neon version, I suppose, but... Yeah, it's very fruity, very sweet. I forgot to mention this one in my YSL portion, so let me just add this in. This is YSL Libre or Libra. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce this one, but this one is different than the other ones because I feel like this one is kind of more, I don't know, grown up in a way. It's not as sweet smelling. It is described as a warm floral, which I do seem to like. And this one just smells very rich to me. I think the packaging also looks very rich. I'm actually thinking about picking up the intense version instead because I've smelled that one in store and it seems like it has even more vanilla in it, maybe even a sweeter orange in there, but this one does have like an orange blossom kind of scent to it. It's really pretty. Similar to Bath & Body Works Fairy Tale, if you guys have tried that one. I have two perfumes here from the brand Skyler, and they did gift me these. So their most popular one, I would say, is probably the Vanilla Sky. They recently relaunched and redesigned all of their perfumes. You can find these on Sephora. And the Vanilla Sky, this is such a unique vanilla. It was not what I expected at all. I feel like it smells like something similar to me, though. And I can't put my finger on it. Oh, actually, it reminds me a little bit of Christmas cookies from Bath & Body Works. So interesting. This one has um, vanilla notes in it, obviously, but I don't know. I just get something airy, kind of like the Christmas cookies of this year. Yeah, I think those smell so similar. It has cappuccino in the notes as well, which is interesting. I don't know if I necessarily get cappuccino, but... It does smell like a really nice um, edible, more summery vanilla in my opinion. I think it's a beautiful scent. But yeah, that's crazy how much it smells like Christmas cookies. So funny. And then I did also get the Isle Escape from them. And this one's a really nice summer scent. So this one has sea notes, cardamom, sandalwood, and bergamot. And I definitely get more of like the ocean, but also the woody notes in here. I really like this one and I can't wait to use it a bit more this summer. Next up, let's talk about my Jo Malone scent. This is the only one I have because they're pretty pricey, but this is so good. Another one that's always going to be in my collection forever. This is Blackberry and Bay. Again, it's such a unique scent. It's fruity, but it has the basil notes in it. It's so pretty. It's like fruity, but also green smelling. Um, it's just very fresh and clean. I absolutely love this one. As you can see, I'm almost done with this one. I've had it a while, but it is my favorite from the Jo Malone London fragrances. It's so good. I did recently pick up these two Atelier scents during a Sephora Black Friday sale. As you can see, the Black Friday sales got me this year with perfume, <laughs> but I've always wanted these in my collection. I've had samples of it, and I just couldn't bite the bullet because they're pricey, but I have the Vanilla Intense. This is, again, such a gorgeous vanilla. It reminds me of Lush's vanilla, vanilla -y that they have, but theirs is, like, too powdery. This one's, like, perfect amount of vanilla and fruitiness that I just adore. These scents are very good as well. They have 91% natural ingredients in the formula. I also have the Clementine California. This is my favorite from them for more of, like, a fresh scent. This one has Clementine, I believe, orange, and it also has lime. So it's just very like zesty, citrusy, really nice fresh fragrance. 
All right, this next perfume, this is one I got in Paris, so I'm not really sure if you can get this in the United States, but it is such a good one if you guys can find it, if you're in Europe, maybe. This is Roger and Gallet. Uh, this is the Fleur de Figure, I think it's called, and it's a fig-smelling, like, very fruity perfume. So pretty. It was very inexpensive as well, but I just love this one, and every time I spray it, it reminds me of Paris, so I haven't been using this one so much. It's been a while since I've been. Very fruity and sweet. Definitely worth checking out. This is such a nostalgic scent that I'm probably always going to have, and this is Britney Spears' a Fantasy. I used to wear this so much in like my college days. It's so good though. The main notes in here are kiwi and I think it has like cake, like cupcake in the formula. It seems like a weird combo, but it works so well. It's so good. It's so sweet. I could always point this out whenever anyone is wearing it. But Britney Spears' Original Fantasy will always be a favorite in my collection. And then I also have this one from KKW Fragrance. And this is the Kimoji Peach. And I don't know if she still makes this one, but this is pretty good. If you guys just want like a pure, juicy, ripe peach scent, this is the best one I have found. Kind of weird for a perfume, but I like it. And I do like the packaging as well. The very last scents I wanted to share, these are my dossier scents. So I have a few in my collection. Um, I've reviewed so many of their scents. They make dupe fragrances and they're actually very spot on. So I have a few in my collection for the ones that I don't actually have the real one of. So first up is the Fruity Honey. And this is a dupe of Jo Malone's. I think it's called Nectaring Blossom and Honey. This is so good. It makes me want to get the Jo Malone one. Um, so maybe that'll be my next Jo Malone purchase because this one, I smell a lot of peach in here. I know nectarines and peaches have a similar smell. And um, it's just very sweet, very fruity. Would totally recommend Fruity Honey from Dossier or the Nectarine Blossom and Honey from Jo Malone. I have the Ambry Saffron, which I've been debating if I want to declutter this one because it's supposed to be the dupe of Baccarat Rouge, but this one smells exactly like Cloud to me from Ariana Grande. But maybe a little bit even stronger than that because it really does last. Like I had this on my coat one time and I could smell it for days. Um, but Ambry Saffron... Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. It has top notes of saffron and orange blossom. It has plum, jasmine, oak moss, amber. It's beautiful. So basically smells like the cloud that I mentioned earlier. I do also have Gourmand White Flowers. This is a dupe of Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf. One that I used to have in my collection. I just don't anymore, but I've kind of kept this around just to have that scent since it is so iconic. Um, it's a very sweet floral, very musky though, so it's definitely heavier, something I wear for more evening. It has notes of bergamot, green tea, white flowers, musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. Just a classic scent. I don't know if I'll be keeping this one too long though. I'm kind of getting over that scent in a way. Um, I also have this one, which might be my favorite from a Dossier at least. This is the Oriental Cherry, and this is a dupe of... Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. This smells so good. Um, it makes me want to get, again, the full size, but I've heard that the Lost Cherry from Tom Ford is very light, so I don't know if I would love it as much. This one's very strong to me, and this is one of the best gourmand scents ever. It smells like cherry pie and, like, almond paste, basically. It's so delicious. Um, top notes are cherry, almond, and cinnamon. It has rose, cloves, peru blossom, tonka bean, and vanilla. One of the most edible scents ever. It's so delicious. So maybe someday I'll get the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And then another Tom Ford dupe. This is Floriental Coconut. And I believe this is a dupe for, I think it's called Soleil Blanc from them. And this literally just smells like you're at the beach. But it's like rich smelling. Like it's not super coconutty or anything like that. It smells very sunscreeny in a way. It's actually very nice. The top notes are cardamom, pistachio, and bergamot. It has ylang ylang, cedarwood benzoin and also coconut but i don't get a ton of coconut but just enough that it makes it very summery beachy smelling that is it finally for my perfume collection this was such a long video i have way too many perfumes but hopefully this was helpful in maybe adding some to your wish list and picking some out again don't forget to check out that sephora sale i'll link it down below with the code and everything i think it's a one-time use i do want to make some more perfume videos in 2022 going over some of my top favorites for like different seasons and just what i've been loving so let me know some perfume ideas you would like to see with my collection but that is going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys